Can you tell us what happened? My friends. They're all dead. It's my fault. It came for all of them. I should have helped them. I ran. I couldn't help them. They were taken by something huge striding through the trees. It mimicked their voices. It played with us. Mr. Gewick, can you start from the beginning, please? <sighs> we were all out on the creek. Around the fire. Partying, you know? Like every teenager does nowadays. Okay. <laughs> all of a sudden we heard something. A scream in the woods. It wasn't like we would be the only ones at the creek on a Saturday anyway. Still, it creeped us out. Myself and Jessica oh, wanted to go back to the car. But Johnny and Lisa wanted to scout the area in case someone had fallen down the creek and hurt themselves. We argued for a little bit and then all agreed that we would go and check. And if nothing turned up, we'd pack up and go. We weren't that drunk anyway. We traversed through the woods searching for the owner of the scream. Jess told us that there's a radio tower in the distance that had a drop nearby. She could have fallen in there. We approached the tower and looked down the creek. Shining our flashlights down there didn't do much, but it was enough to tell that the scream wasn't coming from here. There it was again. That somber tone. It was then that we should have turned back. It was then I got that feeling. Like someone had grabbed my stomach and was twisting it slowly. I almost arched in pain as I walked with the group towards the sounds coming from further inside the woods. We all started running towards the sounds, stopping in our tracks every few feet to try and listen for the calls. But it went silent. The wind started to rush through the trees, masking any cries for help we could have heard. Eventually, it died down, and the silence filled the woods once more. All of a sudden, we heard what sounded like a siren piercing the air. We couldn't tell where exactly it was coming from, but it was loud. So loud. It was like a World War II bomb warning. We were confused and terrified, looking frantically around trying to find the source of this nightmare. It was then I looked up to see my friend's face. She was terrified. Her eyes widened, staring at something. Her face as white as a ghost. The air was so cold. It felt like October in June. Her eyes were fixated on something behind us in the trees. I turned around and gazed up, shining my flashlight only to be met by a gargantuous creature. It was looking right at us. Although it had no eyes, I could tell. Its skin was like a dehydrated skeletal structure, standing more than 30 foot tall. It looked like it was made out of tree bark molded with human remains. Its head... Uh, it didn't have one. Instead, it had two poles intruding from its neck with speakers attached to them. The wires grew into its skin, twisted and converged at the base. My legs turned to mush. It would have buckled underneath me if it wasn't for them also being petrified. My lips went numb from pure fear of this monstrosity scanning us. Nothing at that moment in timing could pass through my mind other than to run. I unfroze myself and my vision became blurred and tunneled as I raced away from this creature. I had no idea where my friends were, other than I think they were also running with me. I could hear the thing's siren screeching along with its footsteps stomping behind me. I'd never ran so fast in my life. I could hear the cracks of this monster breaking branches and getting quicker. I began to feel the air around me getting colder, creeping up my spine. It was right behind me. I could smell its breath. It was horrible like smelling rotten flesh. All of a sudden, I fell. I was so focused on running around that I didn't look where I was going. I lost my footing. I fell down a creek. As I tumbled down and fell to the floor, 
I looked up to see the thing standing there. It was looking directly into my soul. My head was spinning at the surreality of the situation. They turned around and walked off. The sirens getting more and more distant. I managed to find a log and use it as a cane to guide myself back up the creek. Luckily, there was a path back up to where I was. I needed to find my friends and get out of here. Quick. <laughs> 